Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alan. Welcome back to the Mr. Z's Music Lessons YouTube channel. I'm really excited about what we're checking out today. We are checking out the Mifi or Mif. I have no idea how you say that, um, but anyways, it's a 5.8 gigahertz wireless guitar system that can be used with electric guitar, bass guitar, or of course, of course like acoustic electric guitars. And uh, this retails on Amazon for $65 at the time of making this video. I'll have it listed down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, this is going to be a pretty in-depth video and review. We're going to be doing an unboxing, review, uh, sound test. We'll do some range tests too. So be sure to stick around. I'll put timestamps to each one of those too if you guys want to jump around to the part that you're interested in. Let's jump into the review. And let's go ahead and talk about the uh, build quality and the features. Overall, this thing's built really well. Um, I've been using it all week to teach lessons with and been really happy with the results. And then I also actually recorded my acoustic guitar and my electric guitar um, in a YouTube video using this setup. And I'll let you guys hear that here in a little bit. Um, yeah, really happy with it. Didn't have any issues at all. Um, it's really easy to use. So you just have, of course, the transmitter and the receiver. And they both have the exact same features and pretty much look identical. Um, so on the, uh, which one is this? The transmitter, we just have the uh, power switch there and then we have a channel here so you have four different channels i'll show you that a little bit more here in a second and then we just have a charging port so these are rechargeable so you don't have to buy batteries or anything like that so that's awesome and uh, it charges really quickly in about a uh, hour and a half so that was my experience with it too it charged quickly and uh, i use this like i said all day to teach lessons and the battery life lasted all day it says up to eight hours of continuous use and that seemed about right with my experience with it um, yeah, so that's it for that. And then uh, the receiver, of course, just has the exact same uh, setup on it. Now, as far as these channels, you have four different channels, and uh, you just have to make sure that they're both lined up on the same one. So notice right now uh, that that LED on the right, so that's channel one. And if I hit the channel button on both of these, yeah, then we switch to a different channel. They just both have to be on the same channel is the only thing to match up. Okay, and uh, also it said on here that if you have like one transmitter but multiple receivers, you could run this um, stereo into different amps if you wanted to. You just have to have more than one receiver, but that is a really cool feature. I'm really glad that it has that. And let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, as far as setting this up, super easy. You just put the transmitter into your guitar uh, or yeah, into the guitar and then the uh, receiver you can run into an amp or pedal board, just whatever you want to run it into. Um, and that will get you set up super easy. Um, kind of the only con that I have about this whole thing is that it doesn't come with a carrying case. So, you, you know, you can pack it back in that box relatively easily. Uh, but that box may be a little bit bulky to carry around. So I do wish it came with a little carrying case. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, not too big of a deal. Just be aware of that. And that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for our build quality and the features. And we're going to go ahead and jump into some sound tests. And like I was saying, I used this to record a uh, cover video earlier this week. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little clip from that cover video and just let you guys hear what this wireless system sounds like. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Okay, so right now I have my guitar just plugged in with a regular cable. I wanted to let you guys hear a comparison of you know what it sounds like with a regular cable versus this wireless system. And I think you'll notice that there's really not a difference in tone. It maybe just loses a little bit of the high end, but um, not bad at all. Um, okay, so here's uh, just with the guitar cable playing a few chords and stuff.
we'll try that same thing using the wireless system. Okay, now I'm gonna try playing the same thing just with the wireless system all hooked up. I have everything set exactly the same way, so I'm just running this guitar straight into that amp. Um, no effects or anything, and uh, all the settings are the same as far as my tone and everything. Um, and you'll notice it doesn't add any extra noise, so like my, you know, my volume's all the way up right now. Uh, still has a, a pretty low noise level to it, um, not any louder than the cable was. And uh, here we go, let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, and that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for our sound test of that direct comparison. Alrighty, so I wanted to go outside for this next part of the video. We're going to do some range tests. So this thing is supposed to have a 100 foot unobstructed range, so we're going to try it at 25 feet, 50 feet, 75 feet, and 100 feet. Also, if you're enjoying this video, it did take quite a bit of work to set all this up outside. I've got my amp and everything set up out here. Um, so if you're enjoying the video, just be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for me, if you don't mind. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go out to 25 feet, which is roughly right here. Okay, so I'm impressed. It worked all the way out to 125 feet, and uh, once I was out there, though, the, there was quite a bit of delay, obviously, between what I was playing and what was coming out of the amp, so that's kind of a weird feeling. Like, it just sort of feels like you're dragging the whole time. Um, so, yeah, obviously, as you get super far away, you know, I don't think it's necessarily uh, going to work very well just because of that delay, but I think around within, like, 50 to 75 feet, it was totally usable. Uh, there wasn't too much of a delay there. Just as you get farther, yeah, I guess a little bit worse, but... Yeah, that's going to wrap it up for our range tests. That's going to go ahead and wrap it up for my review of this wireless guitar system. Overall, I was really, really satisfied with this thing. I can easily recommend it to you guys. And uh, trust me, I would not have used it to record that um, cover video if I didn't think it sounded good. Um, otherwise, I just would have tried it out and then uh, probably given it a bad review. But I thought it sounded good enough to use, most definitely. Um, there wasn't really a difference in tone quality hardly, hardly at all. So a uh, really good product here. And uh, this would be really cool to use at church or, you know, any type of live event. Um, if you want to ditch those cables, especially if you're somebody that moves around a lot and you don't want to be tripping over a cable or you just want more range, you know, you want to be able to get farther away from your pedal board and move around to pretty cool. And I remember wireless technology like this used to be so much more expensive. So now it's a lot more affordable and it's, you know, even more reliable too. So uh, really, really cool product here, guys. And don't forget, it's listed down in the description if you guys want to check it out. This would make a really cool Christmas gift too. So if you know any guitarists that uh, 
need something like this, need a little stocking stuffer uh, for $65, it's not too bad. Pretty cool product. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching.